Hi, I'm Andy. Uh, this is a series about some of the surprising things that you'll uh, come across in JavaScript. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, reserved words and type of. Um, before we start, I really like JavaScript. Um, I'm kicking it because I live with it and uh, I live with it because I really like it. Okay, so uh, let's start with reserved words. Here we're going to define a variable, we're going to call it extends. We're going to set its value to 3. So if you've been watching the rest of the series, uh, you know what the answer to this uh, is going to be, right? When you declare a variable like this, you get back undefined. Well, let's see what happens. What happens is this. Uh, so what's going on here? Well, uh, what Firebug is telling us is that extends is a reserved word in JavaScript. Um, uh, you may think that's fair enough. Most uh, programming languages have some reserved words, uh, like class, and if, and for, depending on what language you're talking about. Um, what's somewhat weird about JavaScript, uh, it has some reserved words like for and if, which uh, and function, which uh, it needs. Uh, it has a whole bunch of other reserved words which it doesn't need, which are there just in case one day it needs them, uh, including extends, uh, which is not used for anything in JavaScript. But you can't have a variable called that. Get over it. Okay, so um, let's move on. Uh, type of. So, what is the type of 3? Well, in a lot of languages, uh, the type of 3 is int or integer. In JavaScript, there's only one number type. It's called number. Uh, so you know the answer to this question. What's the type of 1.4? The answer is number. Uh, and JavaScript also has this special uh, value, this special thing called NAN. Uh, stands for not a number. Uh, might be familiar if you know any floating point stuff. Um, so this thing is not a number. What's its type? Well, you probably don't know if you haven't seen this before. But you can be fairly sure there's one thing it's not, right? It's not a number. Well, its type is number. And, uh, yeah, we can laugh. It's not that insane. Um, it would be convenient. Um, it's not insane because if you have a function which um, you know adds up two numbers or something, but you pass something in which isn't a number, um, the return value of your function is going to have a type of number. It's just that it might not be a valid number, and, and if it's not a valid number, it'll be none. Um, in actual fact, it's pretty annoying because you want to be able to say is this a valid number? And asking is the type of it number seems a good way of finding out whether you've got a valid number or not. Uh, it doesn't work. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so what is the type of this thing? Well, this thing is um, curly bracket, curly bracket, so it's an object with nothing in it. Uh, so I've answered my question right. What's the type of this? It's an object. Fair enough. What's this? Well, this is an array, okay? It's an array with no elements in it. It's an empty array. What's its type? Well, its type is object. That's annoying. Uh, it would be really nice to be able to find out uh, easily that something's an array. Actually, there are some really horrible hacks you have to do to find it out. Um, even though the implementation surely must know, but it's not allowed to tell you. Um, if you stay tuned to these videos, there's um, there's more fun with arrays coming up, and maybe maybe this answer here will make more sense after that. A really an array is a hack on top of objects. Okay, so what's the type of undefined? Well, the type of undefined is open quote undefined close quote. It's a string. It's the it's the word undefined. The type of always returns a string. And if you use JavaScript a lot, you're just going to have to get over the fact that you're dealing with strings a lot. Because even when you think you're not dealing with strings, actually you are. Uh, so get over it. Uh, so the type of undefined is undefined. Um, you, 
maybe maybe it ought to be meta undefined or something but it's not um, what's the type of a variable that hasn't been defined well the type of it is undefined and what's the type of null well what do you think any guesses type of null is object um, and you can kind of see where they were coming from if you know a bit of scheme or something like that so in scheme there's this thing called null or nil and in other lispy type languages there's this thing which is the empty list so if in a language where everything is a list um, and null is the empty list then the type of null is the same as the type of all the other stuff so that, it makes sense from that point of view um, but having again what if you want uh, in practical use of this sometimes you want to ask is this is this an object of the type I was expecting uh, and if you got null and you were looking for an object the answer to that is going to be yes but it's no use to you you can't you can't do anything with null, you'll, um, you'll crash, you'll throw. Um, so it would be nice to be able to find out. But uh, yeah, basically you don't use type of. I mean, you can use... Um, if you know it's an object, you can ask whether it's... Um, you can ask a boolean... Um, ask its boolean value, and, and null is false, and uh, all objects are true. So you can work around it. Okay, uh, and that's it for today.